What's up? It's Matt Shaquan from Roland here, and I'm going to talk to you today about the Roland DJ707M. This is a new concept for DJing, a controller designed in close consultation with mobile DJs around the world. Uh, we asked them specifically, what are you looking for in a controller? What are some of your pain points? How can we make your lives easier? And we sent all that feedback to our engineers in Japan, and we've come up with this product here. So this is really a DJ controller, but also a hybrid digital console as well. So there's lots of input and output options, routing and signal processing capabilities, as well as all the bells and whistles uh, that you expect from a modern day Serato DJ Pro controller. One thing you'll notice about the DJ707M is its compact size. Don't let that fool you. This thing is packed with more features than most oversized controllers. And with a mobile DJ in mind, we made it small enough where you could fit in a backpack or a small road case, and it's built and ready, rugged for road use. So like all our other Roland DJ controllers, the DJ707M is bundled with a lot of great extras, including a three month subscription to BPM Supreme Premium, and two Roland DJ Cloud Academy classes to get you up and running with your new controller. Let's have a little closer look at what you can actually do with the DJ707M. Let's start with inputs and outputs. So specifically, inputs, there's a whole lot of them. DJs across the spectrum, mobile DJs said, hey, we need at least two microphone inputs. We obliged with two XLR microphone inputs in here. Great sounding preamps with a whole bunch of effects that we'll get into in a second. Also, on the front, we have two auxiliary inputs, both TRS. Uh, that can either function as another instrumentalist who wants to accompany you at an event, or potentially another two microphones, bringing your total of microphone inputs up to four, which is pretty crazy. We also have a stereo eighth inch. So if you want to run a separate mix in here or just play some background music, very easy to do that there. We also have four channel inputs. So this is a four channel mixer. We have line and phono input. So if you did want to add turntables or CD players to this, you could do that. Of course, you will need the DVS upgrade for Serato DJ Pro. Uh, but once you have that, you're good to go. And you can use this as a mixer as well, which is pretty cool. So in addition to those four line inputs, we also have two USB ports, super important for the mobile DJ who needs a viable backup plan. We know there's only one first dance. You got no room for error at some of these high stakes uh, events, corporate events, weddings, et cetera, et cetera. So you have two USB inputs there for your A computer and your backup computer. As well, obviously very good for switchovers between DJs. And additionally, with your USB B port, you can use a camera connection kit and connect your iOS device there, easily playing mixes through that port and it comes through your sampler level here. So going back to the microphone inputs, uh, on your two dedicated mic inputs here, you have a three band EQ for each channel and you also have dedicated vocal effects. Now the vocal effects on here are extensive above and beyond what you need for a wedding, but if you are doing other kind of karaoke gigs or uh, special events, Halloween parties, anything like that, you've got a whole lot of stuff to play with. Everything from echoes and reverbs to pitch shifters, harmonizers, doublers, megaphone effect, et cetera, et cetera. So a whole lot of fun. And you have a built-in ducking function right there as well. Now the ports in the front also have EQ and effect settings, and those are all accessed via your LCD screen on the top of the unit here. Now for the outputs, we have a master output, which is both XLR and RCA. We have a TRS booth output, and a lot of mobile DJs also said they need a third output, a zone output, uh, which we've also included as well. Now the zone output is super useful for mobile DJ applications because you could send that a separate feed to a videographer. You could also send that feed perhaps to a, a subwoofer and we do have a, a setting in our menu here for that. Additionally, if you wanted to, uh, with the advanced routing capabilities, you could say plug a mix in the front of your auxiliary inputs here and send that mix separately to the zone output. So maybe you have a different room with a chill out zone or whatever the case is, and you could still be DJing with your mixer here and sending a separate mix out of the zone output. Now, every one of those outputs that I just mentioned can be processed separately with four band EQ, multi-band compression, limiter, mono mode, 
as well as an anti-feedback effect. Now we know that corporate events, weddings, often are plagued by feedback. It's pretty embarrassing and can disrupt the flow. So in here, you can turn your anti-feedback effect on for every one of those outputs, and it can be a real saver. We tested this in the Roland offices with various mobile DJs, and let me tell you, it works. Hold the mic right up to the speaker, no feedback at all. One of the most groundbreaking features of the DJ707M is what we call scenes. Now these scenes are user savable. You have up to 10 of them and all those parameters and settings that we just ran through can be saved on those individual scenes. Why is this useful? Well, if you're playing the same venue repeatedly, you have a residency or you're used to playing in a certain venue for corporate events or weddings, you can save your scene with all your settings tuned specifically to that room and that PA and very easily call it up before the event. So you don't have to do it over and over again, one scene, set it, forget it. Also for multi-ops, if you've got a lot of DJs that you work with, you can export those scenes and re-import those on individual controllers, DJ 707Ms that they may be using in the field. And that's a great way to keep tabs on quality control and make sure it sounds exactly the way you want it to sound at those venues. Now, of course, this is not built just as a digital console. This is a four deck, four channel controller with all the modern bells and whistles that you expect from a Serato DJ Pro controller. Your hot cues, loops, slicer, sampler. If you have pitch and time DJ, you can do pitch play on here. But also, being a rolling controller, we're gonna, of course, include our patented TR technology. So within here, if you switch to deck three, you have all the classic Roland sounds, 808, 909, 707, 606. And in this case, in this incarnation of our controller, these are all presets where you can call up tools, genres, et cetera, et cetera. And those patterns will line up with your beak gridded tracks. So we'll do a little bit of a demo on that momentarily. Call up the sounds, you can play them live. And that's really useful if you wanna beef up any of your classic tracks or if you want a cool transition from one song to the other, or if Uncle Fester turns up and wants to jam on the guitar and he needs a beat, you got it right there. In the mixer section, we've got a whole bunch of great sounding hardware effects. Each one of those hardware effects can be assigned separately for each channel, which is pretty cool. And those effects include filter, dub echo, jet, noise, reverb, delay, bit crush, phaser, second noise generator, side chain effect, slicer, roll, roll filter, loop pitch, loop filter, and vinyl simulation. And finally, if you're looking for some additional special effects, head on over to channel four oscillator mode. We've got a whole bunch of ready-made one-shot sound effects ready to go. Everything is sounding great. It's time to DJ. That's it for me, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the DJ707M or other Roland products, be sure to reach out to your Sweetwater sales engineer.